Back in Syracuse as the crunch gets set for the second game of the week, first game of the weekend. Tonight it's against the Binghamton Devils. On Countdown to Crunch Time, I'm Lucas Favalli, joined by Crunch head coach Ben Grew, presented by Supercuts. Ben, it's the second game of the week for the Crunch. Wednesday morning, a, a victory in overtime against the Toronto Marlies in the final game of that season series. 4-3 uh, win. What did you see for the Crunch in their win on Wednesday? Well, we did some good things offensively, but uh, overall it was... Uh a run and gun game more than anything else. Uh, many chances on both sides. Uh, they had more chances than us, and but we were more opportunistic. I, I thought Eddie was uh, was real good, so he was probably the difference in that game. Yeah, it was. I guess for an entertainment value, a very fun game to watch. But for a coach, I'm sure there's a lot of areas you'd like to try to get some of those uh, structures back in place to not allow those chances the other direction. Yeah, you know what? It, it started like that. We we started the game. We we had four chances uh, in the first three minutes, and then uh, they got their power play, and they have uh, five shots. They have scoring chances, and for some reason, we we went back and forth and. When when you look at uh, the first goal we score, uh, <coughs> we have a three on two on one side. They end up with a four on two on this side, and we have a three on one on the other side to end up scoring the goal. So it's one of those games that, uh, for some reason, the structure is out the window, and uh, they're go they're we're going at it, and uh, we 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 found a way to win. And like I said, I. Uh, we we did some good things. Guys worked hard, but I think our puck management's got to be much better. Our structure's got to be better, and uh, I, hopefully that uh, it's something we're going to find a way to do tonight here to, uh, against a bingo. Yeah, and it was an eleven o'clock game, a morning game. Yeah. It trickles into the afternoon. Does that play a role at all? I mean, it was there was a lot of energy for being a morning game. Yeah, do you yeah. think that played a role or anything? I don't think so. It's uh, like the the rink was packed with. Uh, kids and it was uh, electric uh, out there it was good and uh, but I don't think it played a role it's it's one of those games that it start two two teams ready to play ready to go at it and uh, it, it seems that uh, there was a lot of energy for uh, for offense not so much for defense so uh, but we'll see. We'll see uh, how it plays out this weekend. Yeah, the Crunch are getting set for two home games this weekend and the start of a four-game homestand for the Crunch. Final quarter of the season starting tonight as the Crunch take on the Binghamton Devils. Uh, the game Wednesday was uh, Anthony Sorelli, the rookie who scored two goals. Uh, was obviously big again for the Crunch. That line of him, Joseph, and, and Dumont continuing yeah. to do some good things. He gets the call to Tampa Bay right after the game and, and uh, has a, a big debut for him. Uh, it's got to be great to see him get that call up. What has he been doing well that earned him that call up to Tampa? Well, like I mentioned, he, he's like uh, many kids we have here. Uh, in, in this case, it's not about if, it's more about when he's going to play in the NHL. And uh, uh, like Anton, he's been a real solid player. He's, uh, he's a player that you trust to put on the ice and he'll get the job done. And I think uh, this is why he's, he's been called up and this is uh, how he played last night. So good for him. And it's... It's great to see that he goes up there and he performs right away. Yeah, he had a goal and an assist at his NHL debut. And, and talking about you know that line, that trio of him, Joseph, and Dumont, yeah. obviously not going to be together tonight, but what has that trio been doing so well to be so successful for their first couple games together? Well, I like that mix with uh, with Dumi playing with the two two rookies. I think it's it's a good fit for Dumi. We we wanted uh, Dumi to, to have a different role coming down here he's he's been the last two three years been uh, mostly a, a defensive player that was playing the pk blocking shots taking face offs and all that and not enjoying a lot of offense so uh, not enjoying a lot of power play and uh, stuff like that so like uh, i wanted him to come back here and work work with the puck work at uh, getting his offense back i know he can produce offensively and if you want him to uh, to produce, if you want him to uh, get better offensively, you got to put him in those situations. And uh, I think playing with uh, Josie and uh, and Tony, it's it's a big boost for him. He's uh, highly motivated to play with them, and uh, I thought uh, they were. Uh, 
Fantastic the other night. Yeah, and Dumont has five points in just the last two games, three assists on Wednesday against the Marlies. How important has that addition been now? It's only four games since he's been here, but he's obviously made a big impact early on, and he's a big presence in this crunch uh, locker room. Yeah, I think uh, it's huge, like you mentioned, like his experience, his uh, competitiveness, competitiveness, and uh, no doubt about it that he wants to make the difference. But I think the, the best is to yet to come. Like, I think the best in front of him, he's... Uh, He's. Uh, I think we we go. Uh, depending on how it plays out with uh, Anthony, I see those guys developing a good chemistry and uh, being a very tough tough line to play against. Cruncher getting set for the Binghamton Devils. It is the second game of the week. The Crunch have won five straight games <coughs> overall and, and eight of the last nine. Uh, Michael Bornaval is back down from Tampa Bay now. The Crunch also yeah. getting a little healthier again with Kevin Lynch uh, returning from, from an injury. He's kind of been in and out of the lineup, but when he's been in, he's been an important player for the Crunch. Yeah. So uh, what do you hope to get from him here as he, he gets back in for the Crunch? Well, the addition of two those two guys is huge for us like in terms of uh, experience, in, ter in terms of physicality. And maturity physically, I think they're two big bodies, and they they they, they, they play physical, and uh, they're they're good players uh, at both ends of the ice. So uh, it's huge for for us to have them both, and that gives us flexibility, versatility, and more experience. So uh, it's more depth to our lineup, and uh, it's something we needed, obviously. It's the Crunch and the Devils here tonight. We're here with Crunch head coach Ben Group presented by Supercuts. And it's been a little while since the Crunch and the Devils faced off. It's the sixth match of the year between the teams, and, and they've been playing their best hockey of the year. They just yeah. went around a four-game winning streak. Uh, when you look at this Devils team as they are currently composed, what do you uh, have to do tonight to come out with a win? I think they struggle early with uh, basically their goaltending. They, they've had a lot of movement there. It reminds me our situation early in the year. And uh, they, they had many guys out in and out of the lineup. <coughs> but when you look at their their uh, their team, they're uh, they're a tough team to play against. I think Barchi, since he's uh, playing for them, is a uh, he's been a big addition for them. It's a well structured team. You, you there's no any surprise with uh, with Bingo. They play a, a solid game like a. A three-zone game, and it's it's a team that uh, if you're not ready for, they'll uh, they'll they'll go after you, and uh, they'll put you in trouble. So it's for us to uh, to come out tonight and keep keep playing the right way, and uh, tight things up defensively a little bit, and uh, use our speed and play to our uh, identity. All right, looking forward to it as the Crunch take on the Binghamton Devils five times over the final 19 games between the Crunch and the Devils. This is Crunch head coach Ben Grew. Ben, thanks for your time, and uh, good luck tonight. All right, thanks.